Hey guys, so uh, while my wife and daughter are away in D.C. Uh, getting to go to Awesome Con while I'm stuck here in the store, uh, for which I am crazy jealous, uh, I sent a copy of uh, I Hate Fairyland number one, hopefully to get it signed by Scotty Young if he's there. Sometimes uh, he's supposed to be there, but he might not be there. Um, asked about a sketch, but it's probably going to be uh, outside of a price range, so we're not going to be getting a sketch from them, though that would be amazingly cool. Uh, if you haven't read I Hate Fairyland, uh, you should pick it up at your local comic store. Uh, it is really funny, and I'm super excited that uh, the second season, second set, next set of comics um, for it is coming out. Uh, either this month or next month, I'm not sure which. Uh, okay, so... Uh, oh, and her, my daughter is uh, cosplaying for the first time. She uh, She's going as Sapphire from Steven Universe. She has the wig and a costume, and her, she's all purpled up in the face and the arms and the shoulders. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, oh, <laughs> look, lurking, behind, lurking behind me today is uh, uh, Neil Gaiman's death. Um made for us by one of our customers, and that's kind of cool, and uh, poem. I was going to do a poem. Uh, well, first, uh, I've gotten some feedback about people saying, you know, uh, hey, Mike, you're doing a lot of uh, feminist poetry and a lot of political stuff, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I am. I am doing a lot of that, mainly because uh, I think it's pretty important, and it's a pretty big part of me, so uh, I want to. I want to keep doing that. Uh, I apologize if uh, you're you're not into that, but there's going to be a lot of that on this this channel. Um, yeah. So uh, this one is called X X Y Y. Republicans are blaming Democrats. Democrats are blaming the Tea Party. The Tea Party blames just about everybody. They've all got their own facts and stacks of statistics and charts, poll numbers, integers, collated and color-coded so that you can see without a doubt that they are right. Well, I've looked at all their numbers, I've bounced them around like bumper cars in my head, and I've come to one inescapable conclusion. I know who exactly is responsible, I know where to point the finger, I know who we should be blaming. Women. Oh sure, you laugh nervously and you're thinking Michael you can't possibly mean that but I do and if you'll bear with me I will tell you exactly why women make up 52 percent of the electorate they vote more than men they're issue oriented they are better informed and better educated women what the hell are you waiting for we've had 200 plus years of men cocking things up the grand experiment of American democracy has revealed us to be petty and partisan, short-sighted, confrontational, and if you'll excuse the language, complete fucking idiots. I get flustered and shut down when I can't find the TV remote. Why are you letting this continue? You have to save us from our better natures, because our better natures, while still our better natures, is still complete shit. It's up to you. There's no one else unless we develop a hyper-intelligent strain of monkeys. But I've seen those movies, and I know exactly how they end. The problem is, you've been told for so long that you're not good enough, that you can't face or handle the stress, but boy, you sure look pretty in that dress, that there is a part of you that now believes it. And we can no longer afford for you to believe it. The planet is dying, the economy is collapsing, we're moving from one lapse in judgment to the next. President Trump! <coughs> ah. Excuse me. We need you. Now. Not later. Women, you have to stand up. You have to find your voice, because if the choice is keep on as we're going, or silence, then the monkeys win. Thank you.